Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution for the May 2010 Grade 3 4 Contest, Question 6. So the question is Pat has one pants that are straight black and brown, and another that is plain brown. She has a top that is straight brown and red, and another top that is red. She has red shoes and black shoes. Her outfits of top, pants, and shoes always have at least two items with matching colors. How many different outfits can she wear? Alright, there are two different ways to solve this problem. Now the first way is just to directly count the number of combinations that do have two items with a matching color, and the second way is to just find the maximum number of combinations and then find the number of combinations that do not have any items with a matching color and then to subtract that number. So now for this question, the second way is more effective and faster because here the number of combinations with no items that have a matching color is very few. Alright, now let's start. For each of these two shirts, there are two combinations for pants and for each of these four combinations of a shirt and pants, there are two combinations for a pair of shoes. So therefore, there are two times two times two, which is equal to two times two is four times two is eight. Therefore, there are eight maximum number of combinations. Alright, so now that is the first step. The second step is to find the number of combinations that do not have any items with a matching color. Alright, now we know that none of those, since there are only three different colors in this question, which are red, brown, and black, and there are only three different pieces of clothing, which is shirt, pants, and a pair of shoes, we know that for one combination to have no items with a matching color there can be no stripes because that would mean for any of these items that have if they were to have stripes that means that they would have two colors and for two other items then one of those other colors would mean that they would have a matching color for at least two items therefore we know that no pieces of clothing can have stripes and therefore we must have each different piece of clothing with a different color and only that color. Alright, now for the shirts, it can only be the one on the left because that is only red. Then for the pants, it can be only the one on the left because it's only brown. And since we have red and brown, the shoes would have to be only black, which they are right here. So we know that the only combination that does not have any items with a matching color is the red shirt, brown pants, and the black shoes. So therefore we know that there are, since there are eight maximum number of combinations, we have eight minus that one combination. which is equal to seven combinations with at least two items having a matching color. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca caribou.